Hey guys, morning. We're live right now. Gonna get started in just a few minutes. Give everybody a chance to get set up. So if your pencils are sharpened and everything, just be patient and we will get started. Oh, I don't know, maybe four minutes. All right, maybe just about another minute. Give people to join. Give people a second to join. And then we will start. No, that's not... That doesn't mean it's been a minute.
All right, let's get started. First of all, welcome everybody again. And thank you for joining this drawing session today. I woke up feeling a little silly, so I picked a, a fun animal, fun little guy for us to draw today. I'll just run down the materials list real quick, make sure everybody's got everything they need. Black marker, colored pencils or crayons. If you're using pencils, use a sharp. Please have a sharpener, you're definitely gonna need it. Paper, I like to use white paper, but a light, light, light colored paper will be fine too. Hard flat surface, and all your lovely smiles. With all that said, today we will be doing this guy, a fun little piglet. kind of rainy and mucky out where I'm at today so maybe I'll imagine this guy out playing in the mud and having having himself a fun little time so let's try and draw this guy have some fun while doing it and you know hopefully if you guys can make a few of the take take advantage of a few little tips and guidelines that I'm gonna help uh, I'm gonna help demonstrate you'll end up with a cute little guy just like this all right I'm gonna leave this up here 30 60 seconds and uh, give you a chance to absorb some of the finer details of this guy and maybe make a few mental notes so you know what might be uh, something you want to focus on or something that you might think be tricky you want to pay extra special attention to uh, so as usual, first I'm going to do the black outline, you know, most of it, and then we'll move into color. So the initial steps of doing this black outline is sort of the more important step because uh, it's going to guide where a lot of our colors end up going. So uh, I'll go a little bit slower at the beginning and then as we get into color, you'll see me maybe move a little bit faster and because um, that's the fun part and I and, and uh, so that's that's just kind of how I do it so if you just sit tight 30 more seconds and take a look I'll be back Okay, before I get a clean piece of paper, I've been informed by my partner on the page that I was supposed to tell everybody that Alley Cat actually picked this. She was been, she's been wanting me to do a cute little piggy, so this has kind of been on the list of ones I wanted to get to, and she certainly had everything to do with this choice. <laughs> so, sorry for leaving you out, babe, but here we go. I'm just gonna get myself a nice sheet of paper. And we can be off and running. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna start with my black marker. All right. And the way we usually kinda get started by starting with the nose, and that is precisely what we are going to do today. Today I have my paper sideways, obviously, as you can see in the video, the long way. Uh, this is a relatively square drawing, so it could go either way. I'm choosing wide because I wanted to add some kind of fun mud details at the end, so I thought it would be better if I could go sideways with that. So I'm, I'm sideways today, but you can pick today if you'd like to go sideways or the long way. So I'm going to start with the nose. The nose is it's a pretty easy shape, but I'm going to do it in two steps just to make it that much easier. All right, I'm going to make sort of a... I'm going to come down about halfway down my page in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to come up, oh, I don't know, a little bit more. 
And the nose shape is going to be kind of a half circle with a little bit of a point at the top. And then we're going to stop. I'm going to go like this. A little bit of a point at the top. And then I'm going to stop. And then the bottom of the nose is going to be a curvy line that's going to rise in the middle and kind of connect to what I've got on my circle. So I'm going to come down, curvy line, up, and connect. Okay, next I'm going to draw in the mouth, sort of the bottom lip almost, and it's going to be almost the same shape as I did for the bottom of the nose. It's just going to be bigger. All right, so I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to run into the bottom of the nose and do the same thing. Just to finish off the nose, I'm going to put two, let's say, little tiny dots for the nose. And maybe little tiny dashes. Dots, dashes, it doesn't matter. You could even make them vertical if you'd like. We're going to put some shading in there. That's why uh, it's not too important just yet. All right. Just gonna continue work down to work on, to, to get his chin in there, and I'm just right under, pretty much the middle, about the same distance from the top of the nose. I'm gonna make a little M, just like that. And then under that, I'm going to make a V, but it's going to be kind of a little bit bigger than the M. I'm not too worried about it. I don't do it. All right, now I'm going to jump up to the eyes. Now the eyes. This should be relatively easy, but if you keep an eye on what I'm going to do, because they are a little bit tricky. So they're kind of going to look, it's going to kind of look like a P, but on its side, and the long end of the P is going to have a little bit of an arch. It's going to line pretty much with the outside of the, no, outside of the mouth here, sorry. Okay, maybe come up a little bit above the top of the nose. I'm going to make a P with a bent line on the bottom, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but of course it's gonna be a backwards P. But, you know, pretty much the same shape in the same place. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like always. In fact, if it's not perfect, like I say, it adds character. And for now, I'm going to put these little circles at the top. Okay, so next I'm going to do a little bit of fur, just again, these are going to be guidelines to help us add color and, um, you know, know when to kind of stop and when to highlight and stuff like that. And these are going to be shorter than usual, and they're going to start right at the top of the eye. I'm going to come out 
maybe about the same width of the eye. Start there. And I'm just going to do, let's say, three little bumps. Maybe one, two, three. You know? And I'll do that on both sides. Right about top of the eye. And I'm going to finish right about the bottom of the eye. There we go. All right, next we're gonna put in some lines for his ears, okay? They're gonna kind of come out, out to about here. Now the way these are drawn, and I'm sure you guys have all drawn flowers or leaves, it's, his ears are almost gonna kind of look like a, the end of a leaf or the end of a flower petal. And it's sort of, I'm going to start in here, oh, I don't know, maybe inside this last little dip. And I'm just going to draw it just like I'm drawing a leaf, just like that. All right, and I'm going to connect it by coming up maybe just above his eye and doing the same thing on top and connecting it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Before I finish with the ears, I'm just going to make a couple more marks. And these are just like we did with the M and the V and the P. We're going to do little W's right here at the bottom of the ear. Little W's. W, W. We're going to do one more letter form inside the ear, and it's going to be a capital N. And we'll do it over here too, backwards. Okay, now we're going to work down and do some outline for this little piglet's body, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw his front legs in, all right? And they're going to come in somewhere around here. And the way I'm going to imagine how those begin is I'm almost going to imagine that this line under his eye continues in a circle, okay? And maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe right around where his mouth lined with the, the uh, bottom of his mouth here, we're going to make well, kind of like a shoulder, like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Maybe it's like right there. And we're going to draw his little shin, too. And that's just pretty much going to be a straight line right down like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be symmetrical. You know, it can have a little bit more zhuzh than mine does. Mine's looking pretty same on the right and left, which is fine, too. But, hey, if you're feeling off balance or asymmetrical today because of the rain, maybe your pig feels the same. 
I guess I'm pretty lined up. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the inside of the leg here. And to do that, it's just going to be a pretty, you know, pretty much a curve right down and right where we left this guy. And I'm going to do that on both sides. All right, we're going to finish off these little guy's feet with W's, okay? But they're going to be a little bit stretched out. W. W. Capital W's. All right, we're getting down to our last few lines, and then we'll be able to jump into color. We're just gonna get the rest of his body put in and his back legs. So to get the rest of his body in, we're gonna make a line out here that's not gonna connect to anything. So let's just imagine, oh, kind of where the end of this little squiggle that we made earlier is. And we're gonna come right down in and we're going to tuck this line in right behind the uh, little little hoof here. There's going to be a little bit of a bump in it. Mm, just like that. There we go. And if you want to just make one arc, you can do that too. I'll put a little bump in there just to hint at a little bit of maybe a hip or a, a ribs or something like that. But I'll show you over here how you can make just a, an arc if you'd like. I just want to go like that. You can do that too. It's a little easier. I'm just going to draw a line here to kind of connect it underneath. And we're just going to draw his two back legs kind of sticking out like this. Now this is pretty easy actually, so I'm just going to make two lines coming out this way. Maybe like that, right? Do the same thing over here. I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. He's just kind of sitting on his butt, watching the rain fall and playing in the mud. And like we did here, we're going to just make W's out here. W. W. Little sideways W's. And maybe we can see a little bit of his tail out there. Just for fun. Make it a little thicker at the end. All right, I think that's, uh, that's it for our black magic marker. We get to get into some color. I'll wait maybe a minute or so, everybody, to make sure everybody's all caught up. When you are done, don't forget to put the cap on your marker so it doesn't dry up. All right, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to keep this guy a little pink and, pink and peach, I guess, like a real pig is. But if you want to do a, a blue pig or a red pig or an orange pig or a green pig, purple pig, if you want to do any color pig, that's totally cool. In fact, I encourage it. Let your imagination run wild with this one. But today we're going to need three shades 
of the same color, okay? So because I wanna do this kind of pinky pig, I'm gonna have like a dark pink or red pretty much, a regular pink, which will be my middle color, and then a very, very light, 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 light peach. So if you're doing a blue pig, you're gonna want dark blue or even maybe purple, regular blue or a medium blue, and the lightest blue you can find. Very important that your lightest color is the lightest one you have in the box. So if you're doing a purple pig, you, your lightest color might even be pink because that would be the lightest shade of something that is in the, the purple family, okay? It's very important that your light color is very, very light. So I'm assuming everybody's got their colors picked. And just like we always do, I'm gonna start with my darkest color. And I'm not gonna over apply my dark color today. I know usually I use a lot, a lot of darks, but because I want this pig to be light and fun, that's another reason why I wanted everybody's lightest color to be really, really light. It's gonna help. Don't sweat it too much if you, you don't have a super light color. You can always just be gentle with your pencil to, to get that light color look. Um, but anyway, here we go. I'm going to start applying my darkest color. And I'm going to start with maybe the outside of the face here. Come down towards this V. You don't have to connect it. I'll do the same on the other side. Just come right down towards the V under the chin a little bit. Gonna put some dark right almost through the middle of the ear, more a little bit towards the top, kind of in between the end and that edge of the ear there. And again, I'm not over applying my dark. I want to use this very, very sparingly. I want to use this as little as possible. So add a little bit here inside the eye there. I'm gonna add a little bit on the outside of the nose. And again, be very easy with this. We're not gonna overuse our dark today. I'm gonna add a little, like some of these little roundish lines underneath the mouth. I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow right here. Not too much, just a little. Gonna add a little bit of a shadow right here. Not too much, a little bit out here. Not too much, a little bit out here. Not too much. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do with our, our, dark, our darkest color here is maybe maybe right, up, right along the shin here, we're just gonna make a little bit of a of a dark on his on his right above where his hooves might be. I'm gonna do the same thing out here too. Okay. Maybe there's just a little bit more out here. Just a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough of my darkest color. I'm just gonna sharpen it up and put it aside so if I need it again, it's sharp. All right, and as we usually do, we're gonna move from dark to light. So I'm gonna pick my second color. For me, it's pink because I'm gonna do this sort of pink guy. This is my second color. So if you're doing blue and you've already used your purple or your dark blue, this is where you're gonna use a regular blue or a medium blue. Same thing for all colors. Second color for me is pink. And like I usually do, I'm just gonna use this to kind of chase around my darks, okay? Tops, inside out, okay? So maybe I'll start uh, in the ear. And just kind of go like that, right up the middle. Right up the middle. Maybe the outside here. I'm breaking out of the, the lines on the top of the ear just a little bit. 
Maybe there's a little bit on the outside too. I'm leaving these white gaps in here on purpose because my lightest color is going to fill that in. Maybe he's got a bunch of hair in there. And underneath. And I'm going to extend that a little bit, but I'm still going to couple it with the dark I put in earlier. Okay. I'm just going to sharpen this up. I still have my pink. This is my second color. And a lot of this guy is going to be this color. I'm going to go right across the bridge of his nose. This is kind of an important part because I want the lines to travel along what I think the shape of his nose would be. So I'm literally just going to draw it in just like that. That gives me the feeling like maybe he's got some little wrinkles on the bridge of his nose and stuff. It makes him cute. And with that same concept in mind, I'm going to do it out here as well. I'm going to use that, the angle of those lines to my advantage. And I'm also going to do it on the chin, all the way down to the M. And you can see how that kind of gives his nose a little bit extra shape. I'm just going to fill in above the eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to come down, pretty much fill in the rest of this here. It'll be mostly, mostly colored in down there, so maybe leave a little bit to fill in later. All right, same with his legs. Fill in pretty much all of it. I'm just going to sharpen this up a little bit. Maybe I'm leaving a little bit of white out here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna fill in his belly. Maybe he's got uh, maybe he's got a little bit of a chubby belly, so I'll give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a roundness to it. Leave a little bit of white in there. Maybe it's catching a little bit of reflection. I'm going to color in out here, pretty much all the way, and there as well. So you should have something similar to what I've got here with some white areas uh, in these key places. And at this point, I'm going to switch to my lightest, lightest color. I'm just going to sharpen this up before I put it down, in case I need to pick it up. I'll be ready to go. <laughs> I'm getting my lightest color, which is this very light, light, light peach. And what I'm doing with my light peach is I'm, this is where I go in and I fill in all the little gaps I left behind, all the little scribble gaps. I'm gonna fill everything, everything in, all right? I'm right here, all the way, fill everything in. Okay, do it in this ear too. Just filling it all in. This is when we start layering, layering in our colors. And it has a really nice effect. Filling everything back in. All those little white areas. And I'm being very sketchy. I'm not taking myself too seriously. I'm having fun. I'm staying loose. I'm smiling because this is fun. I love applying color. I love laying down all these different shades of the same color in the color family to get this very sort of textured and fuzzy little guy all colored in. I'm even going over the pink that I've already laid down. It's okay. I don't, uh, 
I don't need to be super neat and, and try and find all the gaps. I'm just kind of scribbling right over my other colors. I'm filling all this white space. I'm still leaving the nose white. I have a plan for that. And I'll help you guys do that along with me in just a minute. As soon as I finish getting all this light peach filled in. My light peach is very soft, so I have to keep sharpening it. I'm even going to fill in that little light area. Still filling in everything that I left behind. Right over my other colors. I'm going right over my marker lines. I'm just going right over everything with this light, light color. You can see how it kind of starts to make him look like a like he's like his flesh. Like he's got so little fur <laughs> that you can see his skin through it. You know what I mean? All right, this ought to do it. Okay. Now let's just want to get his nose colored in. Now to do this. It's a little tricky. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in five shadows and they're gonna be very small. So watch what I do and then I'll step back and then do it yourself. So watch what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna draw a little bit of shadow. I'm not gonna go up against the black line on the top of his nose. I'm gonna draw a little shadow at the top and I'm using my pink. This is my second color. Then I'm going to draw a shadow where his nostril is underneath that little black dot or line or dash or whatever I put in there earlier. And then the last shadow is going to kind of be right here at the bottom of his nose on the outside. But I'm not, I'm not running into my black outline. I'm staying away from my black outline. And now those are just the five, those, that's all the five shadows we're going to need for the nose. Okay? Now having done that, I'm going to go back to my lightest color again. This is my light, light peach. And I'm going to color in right over those shadows. Just like that. You can see how they peek through a little bit. Very subtle, barely there, but it really gives that soft little pig nose. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. I'm just gonna grab my pink. I forgot to color in this little tiny part of his tail. There we go. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. We got uh, all three of our colors in for his little fur. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to coloring in the hoof. Hoofs, hooves? Is it hooves? Is it roofs? Roofs, hoofs, and hooves? All right. Alley Cat said, yeah, it's hooves with a V. So to do this, it's pretty much coloring them in, but I have a little trick, and that's to leave a little white gap in between. So I'm gonna do this first one slowly so you can see what I mean. I'm gonna cover it, color in about half of it. And sort of at the top of the middle of that W, I'm gonna stop coloring. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I'm not gonna connect it. I'm gonna leave that little white line at the top of the W. I think that looks like a little reflection or an anatomical feature. I just like the way it looks. So again, I'm gonna color start from the outside, go towards the middle, stop at the top of the W. Do the same thing from the other side, stop at the top of the W. And just leave that little white gap in there. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing out here. Stopping at the top of the W, leaving that little tiny white line in there. Okay. 
Cool. See how that really makes it look like he's got, uh, you know, these cool three-dimensional hooves with a V. Cute. All right, next thing I'm going to do, I just want to color in the eyes here. I'm going to color in everything except that little circle I left behind. This actually makes it look like he's looking straight ahead now and no longer looking up. I can't explain why it works like that, people, but it does. I'm just going to sharpen up my black. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few of these dark black details to bring this guy to life. And then we'll, we'll get some mud in there, okay? First one I'm going to do right above his eyes. Little arcs like that. Right above his eyes. Brighten up his expression a little bit. Next, I'm going to go right along the top of this red, and I'm just going to do little tiny scribbles. Little tiny scribbles. And don't worry about it too much. Got most of the detail in there already. This is just to highlight where colors kind of run into each other. That being said, right along the bottom of this area, I want to add a few there. He's a little fuzzy guy. He's a little fuzzy guy. I think that's looking pretty good there. You know, maybe he's got some under these eyeshadows I made. Let's get a little bit out here. Okay, next I just want to I want to highlight some of these cool shapes I made around the nose. And I'm not going to overdo this. This is going to be, I don't know, I'll do three lines on the top, maybe a couple lines on the side. But I'm going to start with a thin one, almost in the middle. I'm going to offset it from the middle a little bit just to give it a little bit of character. I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to add two more underneath, like that. And, you know, maybe like that. Kind of give them a little bit of a... A little bit of a wrinkle. And I'm going to do the same thing on the sides, but I'm just going to do maybe a little one there and a little one outside there. And this is just to get that, you know, that feeling of his cute little wrinkly snout looking a little bit more defined. I'm just going to add a couple wiggles up here. Squiggles, rather. Give his top of his head a little detail. I feel like he's looking pretty good. I'm going to add a little, two little lines under his chubby little chin here, okay? And these are going to be kind of the same as up here, but I'm just going to make the two. And I'm going to have them kind of pointing towards the M a little bit. You can kind of see how his chin might have a little bit of a, a little chonk. A little bit of junk. Okay. So just in keeping with these extra details I made, I'm just going to do a little bit on top of the ear, okay, and a little bit out here. And that's just to make him look scruffy. You know, he's out playing. And this just helps him look a little looser, um, you know, a little more detailed. All right, maybe just a couple under where these two colors meet, you know what I mean? Little M's or W's or W's and M's and N's. I think this guy's looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some mud in, okay? And I'm gonna kind of move quickly here. Unfortunately, I have a meeting in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna have to just do the next 
five minutes kind of fast and after I sign off, you guys can work on your drawings a little bit further uh, before you post them. Don't forget to post them to the page, not the comment section. I'd appreciate that because that way it goes right to the photo gallery so we can all go and look at each other's drawings all at the same time. All right, I'm putting my black pencil down and I'm going to grab regular brown, just normal brown, okay? And to start the mud puddle, I want to, I am going to lightly outline the shape I want my mud puddle to be. I find that that'll help me, um, you know, keep it, keep it in the right place and it doesn't get too messy. So I'm going to go like this and I'm just kind of making these, you know, curvy lines, wherever my imagination says they might be. How's that? And I'm going to draw a couple out on the periphery, out on the outside like that. And maybe there's one over here too. Okay. And maybe there's a little, one little more out here. And again, those, those are just fun shapes. Nothing serious, nothing major. They don't have to look like mine. You can do one or 10 or a bunch of little ones. But I'm just gonna do these for now. Same pencil now. I'm just gonna shade that in. And again, I'm not paying, I'm not, I don't care if I go outside these lines. Those were just guidelines for me to plan where my mud puddle was gonna be. Mud is not neat, so there's no reason to think that these mud puddles need to be neat either. Just shading them in. Okay. Next I'm gonna grab a darker brown And I'm gonna just add a little bit of darkness to the to the tops of where I've put these ripples in. I'm gonna add some shading underneath my piglet. So obviously it's gonna be darker under where he's standing. I am sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. I just wanna make sure I show you guys all the fun little parts of this drawing before I need to sign off. All right, maybe there's a little bit there. I'm just putting it on the tops of where I've made my marks, my, my little curve areas, okay? All right, that's looking nice and messy. <laughs> oh, I wish I was out playing in the mud. All right, let's see, I'm gonna get uh, this, I'm gonna use a, um, it's a tan, it kinda looks a little bit gold, but similarly to how we do with our characters, I'm gonna fill in all the white areas that I've left behind. Okay. I just do that to make sure that I don't leave any paper behind because I like to have a lot of color in my drawing. And the best way to have a lot of color in your drawing is to not leave any white paper behind, right? Because then you know it's all saturated color, dark, deep colors. All right. Now before I finish this mud, I'm gonna go back to my black pencil. Same as we do here, I'm just gonna add a few extra details into my mud. I know I'm going super fast and I do apologize, but just doing what we always do, adding a few extra lines for detail. These whip lines are always fun. I love making these little whip lines. Gives it such a nice quality. Okay. Maybe, I'm just gonna draw these little, little squares and stuff. Maybe there's a few little pebbles and rocks around. Maybe, no, just, just a few. In the mud, out of the mud, just a few little rocks. That's looking pretty good. I think that'll do. And the, let's see, I think what else I can do here before my time is up, I'm gonna take the green just add a few blades of grass around. Just a few. Here, you know, let me see, here, here. Wherever my imagination tells me a little bit of green needs to be there. You know, maybe there's this fun little 
dandelion out here just for fun. Just for fun. That's why we're here, just for fun. <laughs> All right. And of course, oh, well, you know, I better bring this up because people always ask. Well, what about the whiskers? Okay, so officially, pigs do not have whiskers. However, when I did go and check it out, I saw a lot of pictures of pigs that just kind of had like wispy hairs. <laughs> so if you want, you can give yourself, you can give your pig a few little wispy hairs out here. I'm not worried about it too much, you know. If you want to give him a few on the edge of his ear, you know, they're, they're fuzzy little guys, so... If you want to give them a few little wispy hairs, go for it. Don't overdo the whiskers, though, because officially pigs don't have whiskers. Okay? So, that being said, I'd like to sign my work. I'm going to use this cool red umber, because I love red. Woo! There we go. You got yourself a little mud puddle and piglet. Hope everybody enjoyed drawing with me today. Again, I gotta run, but finish up your drawing. Um, if you want, if you're not done, if you wanna share it to the page uh, and you have a little bit of work, maybe you have a little bit of work left to do on the mud puddle and stuff like that. Um, the video will go up, usually shortly after I finish up my drawing, the video goes up. So if you need to wait and Maybe rewind some of the drawing because I kind of went super fast at the end here. That's fine. I'm in no rush. I just love to see your drawing. So as long as you get them up there, I'll be happy. But it's not about me. It's about you guys. So I hope I made you guys all a little bit happy today. And uh, despite the dreary rain outside, drawing is best when done and kind of when it's raining outside. Because what better excuse when you have to stay inside? What better excuse is there? to draw for fun. Okay guys, have a wonderful Monday. I'll see you Wednesday. Be nice to your parents and they'll be nice to you. Bye.